Okay, um, in the uh, last couple of videos, we've been working with not only the Laplace transform and how to find the Laplace transform of different types of uh, just basic functions, but also we derived this relationship that if we have some function f of x and this is its corresponding Laplace transform, then if we take the derivative of this function, and its corresponding Laplace transform is equal to S times this Laplace transform minus the function evaluated at zero. Now, let's see how we can use this relationship so that we can derive the Laplace transform of some more functions without having to go through this integration process. And the first one we want to take, again, is just a real simple one, but we haven't considered it yet. Suppose you want to take the Laplace transform of just x. So now, now we could just put x into our formula here. f of x would just be x and integrate it by parts. That's true. But let's see if we can finesse it now using this relationship. So here, f of x. Our f of x, that's just x, and its corresponding Laplace transform, we're calling f of s. So, in this problem, f of x, that is just x, and that's its corresponding Laplace transform. Now, f prime of x. Of course, that's just 1. And f of 0, x is 0, so that's just 0. Okay, now let's take the Laplace transform of this. What is it equal to for f prime of x? This is our formula right here. For this particular problem, f of 0 is 0. So the Laplace transform of this is going to be s times f of s. And f of s, that's our Laplace transform of just x. So the Laplace transform of this is just s times f of s. And that has to be equal to the Laplace transform of 1. And we know what that is. That's equal to 1 over s. So f of s, which is what we want to know, that's equal to 1 over s squared. And so there we found it. The Laplace transform of x is just 1 over s squared. Now, let's see. Let's say that we wanted to find a Laplace transform, not just of x, but let's say, let's try x squared and see what that gives us. Again, we're not going to use the formula at all. We're not going to use our definition at all. We're trying to avoid taking integrals. So now f of x is x squared. We want the Laplace transform of x squared. So f of x that's x squared and we want to know what is its Laplace transform. So f prime of x that's equal to 2x And f is 0. x is 0, so that's just 0. Okay, let's take the Laplace transforms then of this. What is the Laplace transform of f prime of x? Well, here's our formula. It equals to s times f of s. And what is f of s? It's the Laplace transform of x squared, our function. And that has to be equal to take the Laplace transform of this. Now remember, 
the Laplace transform of 2 times x. In our first video, we showed that that can be equal, written like this, 2 times the Laplace transform of x. We can take the constant out. And what is the Laplace transform of x? We just did that. That's going to be equal to 2 divided by s squared. So s times f of s, where f of s is our Laplace transform of x squared, f of s is going to equal 2 over s cubed. So there we just determined the Laplace transform of x squared, and we never had to go through this integration process. If we kept working it like this, what we would find is that, in general, the Laplace transform of x to the n, that is equal to n factorial divided by s to the n plus 1. And that right here now is a new Laplace transform equation. We want to add this to our list now of functions and their corresponding Laplace transforms. Okay, let's see if we have time. On the last video, I think we said that we were going to try to find the Laplace transform of x times e to the kx. e to the kx times x. So, in this instance, we're seeing f of x equals x e to the kx. We want to know what is its Laplace transform. So in this instance, f of x here is x e to the kx. That's it. It's corresponding to Laplace transform is f of s, just like we have written down here. Now, what is f prime of x? That will equal this times the derivative of that. And that's going to be k times e to the kx. So we have kx times e to the kx. That's this times this derivative plus this times this derivative. So that's just going to be e to the kx. And what about f of 0? When x is 0, that's going to be 0. Okay, so from our formula, if we take the Laplace transform of this side of the equation, that's 0, so this is going to be s times f of s. And we're going to start writing down here, so we have more room. This, Laplace transform, there's our formula, it's s times f of s, and f of s is what? The Laplace transform of our function here, x e to the kx. And that has to equal the Laplace transform of this side of the equation. So I'm taking the Laplace transform of this, take k to the outside, we have k times the Laplace transform of x e to the kx. plus the Laplace transform of e to the kx. We would write it out like that, and that has to equal s times f of s. But this right here, Laplace transform of x e to the kx, that's what we're calling f of s. 
So we have S times F of S equals K times F of S plus, and we know what this is. We derived this in one of our earlier videos. That right there should be equal to K divided by S minus K. So let's see, we can bring this over to this side, and we're going to have S times, oh no, we're not, we factored out the wrong thing. Bring this over here, and we're going to have F of S times S, then we bring K times F of S over here, we're going to have S minus K, taking K times F of S over to this side, and factoring that out, and that will equal K divided by S minus K. So we're saying now that F of S equals K divided by S minus K quantity squared. And that's what this is. K divided by S minus K quantity squared. So here we were able to determine the Laplace transform of X times each of the KX. It's this, so we have a new one to add to our list. And again, we were able to determine it without having to go through this whole integration process by using this that we have derived in a previous um, video. So you can see that we have the, when we're looking at the Laplace transforms and all these different equations that we derive, we really want to start thinking how we can put them to their proper use, because if we do that, it can save us an awful lot of work. Another reason that we want to be familiar with it is we have to know this relationship and we have to be able to use this relationship in order to be able to solve differential equations. And before we start doing that, there's one more function that we said we try to find the function of, and that is the sine of kx. Find the, that Laplace transform and its counterpart, the cosine of kx. So to find out what these are, um, that what we'll do in the next video. Let's say we won't have enough time in this video. But in this video, we derive two new Laplace transforms then. The Laplace transform of x to the n. That's n factorial divided by s to the n plus 1. And the Laplace transform of x e to the kx. That is equal to k over s minus k quantity squared. So we add these to our list. And in the next video, we'll take care of these. So come back for that. We'll find out what these are. And finally, we can start solving differential equations.